Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your three lords in your demand. We have a whole settlement here full of new people. So that's 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 kind of trouble. See and there is more people coming in as we speak. Ooh, what's this? Sam, another memory trigger? Yes. Though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. So I guess that's just from having a settlement now? Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Well, don't overwork yourselves. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions. Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my Major Domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. Oh, right. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the... Nexus must be waiting, Pathfinder. Relax. There will be more for you on EOS after you get back. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book, and with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. So your job doesn't require the others? Or do you intentionally avoid them? The initiative was smart enough to limit the obstacles between its people and jobs that need doing. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Not much to report. We're making life up as we go. What can you say about the Prodromos block? Exacting bunch, as the science types always are. We'll eventually allow the staking of claims for groups with enough startup resources. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. Tell me about yourself. August Brett, retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I join the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my page in any way. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. I've had similar happen to my family. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Do I want to ask about those family? Sure. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. What is that? Stay out of people's grief. You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unsaid start to the initiative. So yeah. We stay out of people's grief. How do you keep it from just spilling out? 
I let it. And my people stay out of it when I do. And I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative. Or maybe everyone. Thank you. We'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that when shooting doesn't have to start. You don't need to shoot everybody. You can only shoot them a little. Pick. Don't need pick. All right, you're Doctor Ramirez. You have a terminal here that I'm gonna look at. Mr. Joseph, I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credits. I understand Victor Carlson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to Prodromos. Beyond that, from what I hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. And know all about the prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before the journey to Helios. Victor Carson will be released from stasis when I see fit and assigned to an outpost that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Addison about this, you'll have me to answer to. Administrator Brecker. Symptoms, condition, acute insomnicus phobia, an examination, no organic and link cause, but they suffered a mechanical failure when coming out of stasis that locked her in the board. Clearly a psychosomatic case, but symptoms are acute. Uh, prescribed the detroxin and we are post stasis therapy. Next appointment in two weeks. Personal notes. I've seen several cases of post stasis anxiety and other related conditions. The decades saw a lot of the physical efforts of long term stasis. But we are clearly seeing the psychological effects run a lot deeper. People just aren't designed to be turned off for too long. Should talk with Hanley about a long term research initiative. We are first for a lot of things. Multiple leg fractures. Patient lost his grip and fell during maintenance work on the roof. Jump jets failed to fire. Compound perfections to the right leg. Severe sprains to left ankle. Patients showed an allergic reaction to anesthetics. So I brought August to the couple of engineers to hold. 76 down while I set the legs. Application of foam cast and appropriate analgesia followed. Noisy day, but hopefully an object lesson to the rest of the outpost about jump jet maintenance. Patient is healing now. She should be falling off roofs again in a week. Oh, that's good to know. Staying positive, aren't you, Dr. Ramirez? August said you might swing by. Right, yes? That's right. Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Tell me about life in EOS. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the initiative, he suggested I consider it. This seemed like a better frontier. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. No promises. Me, I do wanna fall off roofs. Sounds like a good time for all. Okay, I think this is the last building in the patch. So there might still be some in additional directions. I think there's someone we haven't talked to yet. I'm not sure where. 
And my car is probably somewhere. I don't know where. But there's additional buildings on the other side over there. We've been to do this building, but only the upper floor, right? We didn't come down here. Uh, here's the Maradoma. Over here. To Director Tan from me, Bradley Tan, appreciate the personal interest, but my people are getting twitchy with all the messages you're sending them. I'd like their minds on the job, not being under a microscope. That is since the one I call. I get it, site 1 and 2 are still raw for us too, but Prodromus isn't the same. No better way to prove that than to let us do our jobs. Give them space and I'll give you all the footage you need to make it play well back on the Nexus Agreed. Uh, everyone, initial setup went, setup went by the books and we're operational in record time. Be proud, I am. Now that the first deployment wave is in, I'm getting it all clear to break into the good stuff. We've got a new colony to toast and some lost friends to say goodbye to. Uh, lights go down and drinks rise up at 20, uh, 20 hundred hours. Is that how they say it? Pathfinder, Major Domo Evan Bell Scott. I have headaches so you don't have to. Rather, so Bradley doesn't have to. I've also coordinated with your cat expert. He wanted me to remind you to find him. I didn't assign a cat expert to Prodromos. Then he's a hell of a self-motivator. Here's the nav anyway. Precision is important. Any trouble with the cat? Clearing the sky catered for the bad guys as well as us. So some uptick in hostility was to be expected. We've some tricks up our sleeves. Thanks to the research teams. That only goes so far. Your expert is still out there. He'd have more current information than I. How did you come to the initiative? Like many, I was lost and looking for a purpose. That sounds loftier than it felt at the time. I was an insufferable ass. The training for the trip was probably enough to cure me of it. But I always took things too far. Didn't know how to stop alienating people until I was the alien. <laughs> See? Still insufferable. Where'd you launch out of? The pale blue dot, Terra Prime. Big old boring Earth. I miss... I miss that wet dog smell after the first snow melts. I don't know why. What about you? Miss anything? Nah. Things were easier. So much already built. We get to do it all again. For good or bad, I guess. Better get it right. Sounds like you left some interesting circumstances. I miss the family, and maybe they miss me. But that doesn't mean I'd go back. I mean, we can't, but still. I like where I came from. It's a great place to be from. Know what I mean? I know exactly how you feel. Couldn't wait to be from somewhere. Like a bullet leaves a gun. Sometimes you just gotta go. Another time. Of course. That's that's a pretty interesting philosophy in that regard. I like it. Alright, then what do we have here? Amy Abrams. Ah, Pathfinder. I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. Hanley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS. And Ryder of papers that start what the hell weather. But, new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? What kind of research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work. Soil, water, atmospherics. Plus, studying remnant tech, because now I need to understand that to survive here. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering it's world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. And you. Who are you? Uh, Pathfinder? Mind giving me your opinion on this? I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. 
Some say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> we were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. How? What technology can do this so quickly? Neutralizing the radiation in the atmosphere without dramatic storm effects? Shit, the opposite. The weather's gone calm as a summer's day. Then un that's unprecedented control over atmospheric pressure, gas mixture, temperature, what else? And where's the interaction? Mr. Dogs walking them in the shuttle port. Park always helping think through these problems for get side effects too. I should get a dog. Are there dogs? We got a damn lucky. We got damn lucky with the conditions here. This is comparable to sea level Earth. Eos is drier but within limits. Moisture is binding into the desert plants and soil more now since the vault. Point to a species with the same air mix, temperature, gravitational comfort levels as us. Or is there another reason? Can't predict intent from results. Maybe Ryder's the one to figure out why. The how? That's my department now. Lucky old Haley, you want the bigger things? You sure got them now. Research proposal submission review. Material analysis of recovered kit firearms approved. Important photobomb bacteria study approved if you don't flash your work away. Color reactions at the equity in the insectoid wildlife. What? No, not approved unless you're going to make them stop at a red light. Comparison of quantum initialized string effects to relativistic waveforms. This is gibberish. I'm not getting grants for the best word salad. Element zero voltage resistance testing. Finally, some real science. Approved. All right. Well, what do we have? Well, I'm curious now. Apparently, there's. I'm gonna guess that that sign is. Where are get specialist is maybe? And well regardless, I probably need to leave us for a bit. Who co who's calling me out? Some Rider. Are you? No? Just the voice I'm going Rider, Rider, Rider. Four more requests for Dark at the Arian 28. Make it request again, Bradley. I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be second wave, but I want to trail. So, want to trail when all this claim steps. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's look at that. All right, what have we got? Would you like some lube? Have some lube. Yeah, take all of my lube. You see, I, I, I have realized that despite the loneliness of space, we can do this try. It's fine. We don't need the inorganic lube. To help us through the night. All right, there's another terminal here. The Connor heard about the new position, but Roma's just gained one hell of a business from it. They're lucky to have you if you ever find ourselves. On the next at the same time, I'm buying you a drink to celebrate, Vetra. And right there, I know you're going to get nose and read this. Hi. Oh my God, Vetra realizes that I am a protagonist. And that I will read everything I see. Did we already inspect this building? We might have. Yeah, we've, we've seen Yale before. So we've been here. I guess I think that's... Mostly everything. Do you see that black hole disappear? Oh, there's my nomad. Okay, well, it's it's a big enough town, as evidenced. 
to the fact that we've already spent like 20 minutes here. So I'm gonna come check here as well. Ooh, research center. Ah, so this is just another R&D table, right? Yeah. Can we upgrade our get? Careful on design. Sure. Mm, that requires more things. Main, mainly more levels for us. Repositioning. You don't need to reposition. That's that's what reapers do. We have nine points to use. Apparently, I've been leveling up a fair bit. Uh, there's also. Some other abilities here that I've been ignoring. Ooh, and this one is just additional recharge speed. Hmm. 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 Okay, that's 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 pretty tough a choice because. Being able to just crash around everywhere is pretty nice, but I think I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, and we can get Nova to level 3 as well. Excellent. Confirm and exit. Ooh. Kinetic Warper unlocked. The profile is now at rank 2. How do I... I guess that's for when I use a profile. That's when I can get access to that particular ability. Okay, and we can get your charge to have additional radius as well, because that's the fun thing to do. Yes. Liam? Oh. I have not been as focused with you. Or unfocused, even. You know, that's a lie. Undo changes. Yeah. I can, in fact, give you this... So there's 50% additional damage over 5 seconds or more damage radius. Let's let's go for that. I'm not entirely certain how well I'm gonna utilize that, but it's worth a shot, that's for sure. I mean, surely it's worth a shot, for sure. Okay, and here's the final building. And then we're, I think we're gonna get back on our ship. This is what we're gonna be taking a look at next time, I guess. This is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about the Remnant tech. tech. They think the initiative is lying about how dangerous it is. That a couple of electrodes in the right place could get the Remnant to work for them instead. They tried before and they helped out in Medbay when those Remnant observers, observers called a party. But Jennings says we could live like kings if we had an army of remnant pots working and fighting for us. He's taking the whole work crew to help him this time. I have to go with them, maybe I can talk Jennings out of it, but if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's a recipe for trouble. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The datapad mentioned Medbay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Where's my car? Car is over there, so yeah. This is... I don't want my people to go get killed by remnants immediately after we get back on planet. So... Got the research station here, and we got the shock treatment points over there. And I'm gonna take a look at that quest next time, so... Thanks for watching! I'll see you then. Let's see if we can rescue this workforce. Sounds like a better idea than just letting them die. Yeah, bye bye.